Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I want to talk to you about more updates to data visualizations in Platform Analytics Workspace. That's right, it got an update, but it had two things. If you haven't watched it already, go check out my video where I talk about the extra group by or additional group by filters you have on your uh, data visualizations in Platform Analytics Workspace. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the new GeoMap visualization. So if you head on over to the store, pull up the versions, and you'll see back in May, on May the 4th, they really, I know, I'm a little behind. Back on May the 4th, they released a new visualization type for GeoMap, allowing users to visualize geographical distribution of data for a world, country, region, or state. So I had my fair share of fun. I was like, what do I want to show YouTube that has geographical distribution to it? And I thought, well, Vancouver's coming. Let's show them Vancouver. So I went and pulled some open data data sets for Vancouver and then British Columbia, which you can see there on the upper left. And this is the new component. So you can see it right there in the middle. That's the new GeoMap component. What I did is I pulled their webcams and not paying real much attention to the release notes, I went down this rabbit hole of building out all of Vancouver's <laughs> street cams um, so that I could look at them on a map. But lo and behold, this only does world, country, region, or state. It doesn't zoom in to the city of Vancouver, unfortunately. And that would have been super awesome knowing that on August 3rd of 2023, Vancouver release is coming to service now. But that's okay. I still have the data visualization component. You can see it here. Let's click edit. I want to show you what I mean by a new data visualization. If I get my head out of the way, you can see we have different types, single score, dial, gauge, and down here on the bottom, we now have GeoMap, which is what you're seeing on the screen behind me. And I've already configured this. So let's go ahead and get rid of of that and we'll get out of here exit editing mode discard my changes and we're back to the map of the world which I can then zoom in and show Canada which also has my webcams in Vancouver and this takes me to a list of webcams still super cool I love that I can just click on one of these and I get like four stills or three stills depending on uh, what traffic cam I'm looking at and I can look at what's going on in the city of Vancouver super awesome but I was like that's not really what I wanted so let me get some British Columbia data I went out and the British Columbia province, or state, whatever you want to call it, has open data as well. And they had over a thousand highway cams available. So I loaded all that into my instance. And unfortunately, the highway cams aren't associated with the city. And so I think that's where it stops. So now you know the limitations of this one. It's going to show you the world, a country, a region, or a state, but not necessarily drilling down into details or representing. I thought just because I had latitude and longitude, which you can see here, my favorites will go to the British Columbia Highway cams I pulled in lasts and longs and I even created a location for all the cameras so that it was in the location table and everything should work like ServiceNow thinks it should work um, but it didn't like that it didn't pull it in like I thought it would and represent it on the map so now you know the limitations of that geo map let's go back to platform analytics workspace and let me show you the different options you have with configuring this new data visualization so we'll click on here we will click there to get into the settings again and I'll move my head and you'll see we're kind of limited on the settings too we got a header and border just like we do with all our visualizations you get to specify your data sources you get to specify your metric this was chosen for me and I'm not really able to change it too much you can see here I can't change it from I can change the aggregation method but I can't change the field it won't let me do anything there um, also it doesn't work without a group by but it automatically grouped on location and won't let me select anything else so location just be happened to be something I added later um, and it made it work but anyways um, data update you can have whether it follows the filters enable drill down or not data message when there's no data display what do you want it to do and then we'll get in the last setting here where I can actually set this to Canada instead of the world so I'll just change this to Canada if Justin can spell Canada while he's recording a YouTube video let's try that there and there you see behind my head it changes the map to Canada instead of showing the world. I could do that. I think I can get into British Columbia. Um, let's try that. And I don't think it's going to show my data, though, when I get into British Columbia like I wanted, right? Because my highway cams aren't associated with a city. I tried plugging in a city, but it didn't really work there. And I was tired of messing with this. So, again, last little settings you can do there. Data legend or data labels below the map specification there. Uh, legend position. And then, of course, colors. There's only uh, the default and the color range. And you can 
can set and all that works. Those are all hexadecimal colors. So, and you're talking to a colorblind person, or you're listening to a colorblind person, so probably don't want to play around with that too much. I'm going to set this back to Canada um, because that is what's coming with Vancouver. There we go. I don't see any different colors. You tell me down in the comments if you saw different colors. But that is the new data visualization component called GeoMap that started to be available in the store on, in May of 2023. I got around in July to actually messing around with this. Like that other video I mentioned at the beginning. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in adding visualizations for geographical data inside of ServiceNow, inside of their platform analytics workspace or dashboard or landing page in one of the other workspaces. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.